number one. Blue trucks for the champion, Britton Hart. Black trucks for Jenny Savage. With all the animosity, a relatively muted start off from scratch for both fighters. And, and Sean, this could be a very technical fight. And with all the animosity, these are two really technical, really accomplished, talented fighters. The fighters sharpshooting the jab, trying to set range. 30 seconds already gone in round number one. This fight from this Virginia crowd. Let's see if that impacts Britt Hart in her home state. You can just look like Jimmy Savage right there, just waiting for a point to step in so he can throw that straight left. Is the right in to step in? Savage right back out. Slow stalking pressure from Britt Hart. Squared stance from Savage. Right hand on the entry. Jab from Hart on the left hand. Savage to the outside. 50 seconds remaining round one. Hart doing a great job of controlling where the fight happens. She's close. She's that close to shoot the message. Jabs from both fighters. The fighter breaking eye contact. Right hand. On the left hand. Good right hand from Hart. Always puts her back in the center right there. That way she can dictate when and why the fight happens. Small hematoma has formed in the center. Of Savage's right eye on her forehead. Good counter right hand by Savage. Now the left hand. Hard with the right hand coming forward. That is the end of round one. Savage cut under her left eye. First up to scratch the star round number two, the champion, Britton Hart. Toward the scratch line by Jenny Savage. It's nothing up. Well, it's knuckle up from Chris Young, round number two. But immediately to that long jab. Low crouching stance for Savage, 5-2, the Hawks 5'7. Like he said, Savage is waiting to unload to land that straight left down the pipe. She's just waiting for the right. Who, whoever can step outside that lead foot, you got this straight punch. Right down the pipe. So active with that lead left hand. Overhand left from Savage, not there. Counter right hand from Britton Hart. See Savage staying chest off of the ring ropes. Hart now resetting. What's the fingers? What's the fingers? Really active with that lead left hand. There's the jab. Surprised we haven't seen Savage explode out with that left hand lead right away or double jab coming with that straight left. From Hart, not there. From Savage. Hart now to the inside with the right hand. Hart's just waiting for Savage to throw so she can counter. The left hook. Five seconds remaining, round number two of our co-main. Like I said, they just went for the right time to explode in there. A lot of setups going on here. Long jabs for Britton Hart. Savage staying patient, picking up the right jab from the southpaw stands. The problem with what Savage is doing right now is you're pretty much giving up these rounds. If you're being pushed in the pitch and you're not exploding and throwing punches, you're probably losing the fight. This will be two rounds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Probably give it a run. We don't know what the judges are saying right now, but. Big right hand, the flurry on the inside. The left hand, counter left hand from Jenny Savage just before the bell. That ends round number two. You got pick it up, okay? There's nothing up. Round number three. Some long straight punches from range from Hart. They're not landing, but they're keeping Savage back. Once again, Savage just keep going against the ropes right there. She can't do that if she wants to try and win this fight. She already said she didn't feel like she could not put her out. Keep that head moving. So she's going to have to overwhelm her with the volume. She's not doing that right now. And that was a very candid 
Admission from Jenny Savage in our fighter meeting saying, I don't think I can knock out hard. She's very durable, but I feel I can cut her up. I can stop her with punches. But all of that is based on volume. Yeah, and that's just not being seen right now. Being very defensive, just waiting for the right time. That right time hasn't happened yet for her. A jab from Savage. So just quiet this Virginia crowd. They're waiting for the explosion that hasn't happened yet. Pick it up, ladies. Come on now. Call for action from referee Chris Young. Savage down right back up, wanted to keep fighting. But a knockdown rule by Chris Young. Let's see if Hart tries to step on the gas right now. 35 seconds remaining, round number three. Maybe that would be enough right there to make Jimmy Savage try and get more aggressive. But man, that blood is really leaking out of the nose right now. Savage trying to explode forward with punches. Hard out of range. Now that's going to make. Savage, breathe out her mouth right now. Keeping her mouth open. You gotta be careful. You get your jaw broken like that. Savage cut under her left eye, round number one, bleeding out of both nostrils here in round number three. And dropped this here by Brick Martin, good. round three. Just heard the 10 second clap. Final seconds, round number three. Savage trying to explode into the pocket again. We move you to round four. You see? These two fighters have not broken eye contact once, not even when Savage was dropped. And Savage, you, you have to think she feels like she's down in scorecards right now. She's going to have to do something dramatic. There's a sense of urgency to make it Savage staying low with the shoulder rolls. But staying on the outside and not throwing, not landing. Chris Hart most definitely throwing a lot more than she's landing, but by throwing from range, she's keeping Savage at range. Savage has got to wait for the right time to try to explode in there. Double jab left hand. Sharp right hand from the champion, Britton Hart. The problem is Savage isn't stepping in when she's throwing a jab. She's got to step in and try and close that distance. She's throwing a jab, but kind of back in the way or standing. Stand right where she's at. She's got to come forward. There's no mystery with a five foot seven fighter fights a five foot two fighter as we have with Hart versus Savage. About where those two respective fighters need to be to do their best work. Well, it's not even about the height, it's about the reach. And Britt Hart has a three inch reach advantage. We got to figure it up, Hart. There's the right hand from Savage in the counter to the body. Hart on the floor, he took herself off balance, now resets right back to the jab. 35 seconds remaining, round four. Hart has been relentless in pumping that rangefinder jab. Well, even if you're not laying on that punch, and keeping your opponent in place. Really throw it out. Savage right there. Chris, this is a rare fight where punches that aren't landing are winning the fight, and that's the case for Britton Hart. It's determining when and where the fight happens. It's very hard to win a fight if you're not throwing out a punch. Britton Hart keeping his fight. The vast majority through four rounds, exactly where she wants to be at distance. Hey, we move to the okay. fifth and final You're good. round. Let's look it up. No sporting touch of hands as we start the fifth and final round. The KFC's reigning women's 115 pound world champion Britton Hart in her first fight with the strap versus Jenny Savage. To the inside, resetting right back out. And so if there's ever a time for a risk to be taken, you try to get this title, now is it. Savage trying to explode four, right back to the outside. There's the left hand from Savage on the entry, but again, back to the outside. She needs to get inside and continue to throw punches, throw a lot of volume, she talked about that because I mean, she gets hit and she just kind of continues to keep going. She's showing her toughness many times. You're going to have to get her for a lot of punches. One punch is going to do it. Jenny Savage is a phenomenal fighter, and this is masterful distance control from an equally phenomenal fighter, Britton Hart. Hart 
is controlling the tempo, she's controlling the range, Chris. I mean, Savage has been doing a much better job in that few rounds when she decided to step in. She didn't do that in the first few rounds. Savage stepping in. Hart stepping back. Back to the one for Bretton Hart. So this is what Savage needed to be doing the first few rounds. She just laid back the entire time. There's the right hand for Bretton Hart. The first significant clinch in this That's fight. Hart right. takes Savage against the That's ring right. ropes. 20 seconds remaining in our world title combat. Finish all of Savage still looking for the entry. Overhand left, shot to the right from Hart. Finish on. Final seconds. Both fighters with the jab. There's the straight two from Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five championship rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. Judges Cuellar and Rodriguez score the fight 50-44. Judge Costello, 49-45. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still undisputed.